Okay, Alex, my friend, little salute to you. Hope you're keeping well. Uh, as promised, I'm going to give you a quick walk around the IG platform. Uh, it's very easy and intuitive. And I like it to chart. Um, you bear with me. Let's have a look. Okay. So this is the basic layout of um, IG. It's a web-based platform. They do have the MT platform as well. And this, what we're looking at, is a spread bet. Now, the difference between spread bet and the CFD is it's price per, price per point rather than price per contract. So when you look up here, before I go through it all, if you're going to buy it, you just click buy and you set it to whatever price you want. So... You know, I trade roughly around a pound a pip, uh, five pound a pip, which is there. You can drop your price level in. It automatically starts populating down here. You can preset your order like so, just by putting in your take profit, and then you can put in your stop, and it'll automatically drop it down here. Or if you leave that as zero. It leaves it an open-ended stop and it makes life easier in just a second and I'll, I'll just show you so this section is quite easy also tells you how much margin you need what the spread is all that sort of good stuff okay very very simple way to trade now that's your orders the deal is exactly the same except once you press click deal that is it you are straight into market and as you can see whichever one you are on it remembers what these are and the position size and that's done through the settings and i'll show you that in a second you can also set alerts so you can do it by price i i want an alert to my phone when it gets here and you would just set in the price change or you can set in the price level and that's there okay i like to use an indicator again there's loads here so you can say well i'm going to monitor a 15 minute chart the indicator of choice could be an rsi and as soon as it gets over say 75 add the indicator at the end of the candle which is the preferred way to do it let the candle shut and every time it happens i want to know and then you put a little note in there and it'll come to your phone very very simple e e easy system to work and then info is just the the um the details of the market you're looking at and if you need the symbol code it will be in there all right so this section very very easy to to work out now when you first open up ig you are presented with a horrible horrible chart um if you bear with me um i shall just put something on that i don't use uh that'll do because i'm just in my trade section at the moment clean up everything off it so we can build this up from scratch um and just to, as point of reference um across the top up here you can put various tabs now i have a trading tab which is here i have my watch tab sitting next to it now this is the basket of products that i constantly look at it's all drag and drop so you can put them wherever you want okay next to it i then have all of my pound pairs together why do I do it this way? It's so that I can quickly identify what's happening with a currency. So if I'm looking at the pound, I want to see what's happening with all of the pounds. Now, as we can see, it's going uh, green here, 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 and here. So it's a fair bet this one will probably go green as well because the pound's starting to gather a little bit of pace, which is no shocker after the colossal drop that it's recently had. Now, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Whether I trade it this week, don't know. But we'll see. 
and then I do a similar thing with the Euro, the US, the CAD, the Aussie, the Kiwi, and then I drop it down into indices as well. And it means I can have a good look at what is going on in the world. And then a trading tab, which is here. And I can just mess around and do whatever I want on this without really affecting the others. Okay. So when you're first presented with a screen, it will kind of look like this. So what I'll do is I'll make it look pretty much like it would be at the start of entry. Uh, let's see, sure, comes in with HLock. Um, open orders, just switch everything on. Da, da, da. Timeline, let's change and a price line now when you first open it up it looks like this and it is horrible it really is and you can also toggle it between dark so if you like it dark i mean to me for some reason i like white on this and i prefer black on mt personal choice but i'll come back to this in just a second so i'll flip that back to light so this is what you're presented with to start with and it, it's it's not good so up here you can get rid of all these notifications it's all like your twitter feeds and everything to me it's just noise so if you click there it gets rid of it but if you want it back it, it'll just click back on now as you see when you're moving the mouse around it's a little bit horrid because there's bits popping up everywhere so if you come down to show take off the h lock that's not there anymore I don't particularly like this line down here either. So I get rid of the timeline. I don't want to see the price changes too much. And I don't really want to see the price line. Because I like a clean chart. But it's up to you what you want on the screen. But if you look here, it tells you what the price is in this little box. So you don't really need the line moving backwards and forwards okay it's just distracting now you can see that there is a grid behind this so again what we can do is we can tidy that up slightly go to customize appearance click that and it gets rid of the grid the grid and you can also change the colors of your your candles etc make it a little bit cleaner or whatever it's up to you. Um, you can flick it over into Heikenashi. You can have a line, your H lock, your mountain, but a candlestick works. Okay. So once you've got it cleaned up, it, it's nice and way to mark a chart up. Up here, you can have all of your time frames from a monthly down to a tick. You can set it from either the ask, the bid, or the mid. Personally, I prefer the mid because halfway between the two in it okay this is kind of the calendar where if you want to go back in time so far you can go right well i want to see what happened on the eighth and it'll just flick it straight back to the eighth nice and simple now you can split charts with this which is a, is a handy f feature so for argument's sake you might want to look at three timelines if you click that you can put on three different time frames. So you can see there's the 15 minute, the one hour, and you may want the five minute. So you can have a good look to see what's going on. Well, it just shows you the market. Okay. So that's quite easy. And then flick it back. Again, if you click here, you start seeing all of your indicators um, nice and easy to to recognize like your MACD or if you want an RSI on as well stick in a moving average whatever 
if you want to change the inputs and outputs of these just take that one off for a second if you click the little box pulls up this useful little tool and then you can change your inputs to suit your needs just like so um, very very simple um, likewise with the moving averages it gives you a list here so you can add in plenty of moving averages again change the colors and the styles to suit yourself and if you want to go back to a clean chart just click the little x and they are gone very very simple okay and then as we come down again that's what you are looking at so if you want to just quickly flick off sort of your open orders or your working orders because you don't want to see what's going on there it is there i often find taking off open orders helps stops you fiddling with the charts and again it's it's just a um a little job lot of what you can do so you can change that to percentage uh i prefer linear etc etc there to play with and then you can have these to zoom in zoom out and then if you want to go to the very hard right brings it straight back and then you can move the chart as in where you need it to be very very simple then down here you have your settings where you can just fill in the way that you like just as i was showing you earlier on whether you want it light or dark there is signal services here it's not very good you have your news and analysis again you can flick on and just have a look see what's going on any notifications the history this will tell you your orders this will tell you everything that's in the market if you click this little button down here it widens that up so you can see it um, you can make your own little watch lists down here very very simple to do and then the products well the products are all laid out up here in the split up so you have all of your indices well, again you can look at it by the most popular first alphabetical and and flick around now if you want to trade say wall street it would fire it over to this side and you can have a quick look at it to see mm, yeah i quite like that click work click the workspace and it'll populate on that workspace as well as the tab that you've had so you'd end up with two tabs all right and then you go down into forex forex again is broken up into the major category class these are the majors where you'll spend most of your time come down into the minors there's some that are pretty good uh, some that are not so good sort of the czar and the sag and things like that just stick to major well they're the kind of called major minors in the sense that it has a major pair but it's not as volatile shall we say as up here and so they call it a major minor and what it means is is one of the four main currencies will be in the pair and then you come down to the australasia markets scandinavian and the exotics and the emerging markets personally i don't look any further than the majors and the minors major minor okay um crypto is only available for professional traders um on the ig platform if anybody watches this and they're interested in crypto uh drop in the description there will be a link to bybit and also binance um keep an eye on the videos I, i'm doing a beginner's journey on that because i am a total beginner on it and i am pretty clueless on it and it's an interesting journey then you come down into your shares well there is thousands of shares to deal with as you can see um if you want to learn more you can click that but just get rid of it and away you go and again works the same way if you want to trade telsa in a spread betting situation works the same way click it into and off you trot 
commodities. Now this is again it's personal choice. Um, you're obviously always going to have your precious metals, but the energies are quite a good market to trade. You've got your crude oil and your carbon emissions. They are really good markets to trade, but you must be careful with them because they do shift. And if you're caught on the wrong side of it, you will know about it. The gold, well, you've got your gold and your silver. They're, they're your staple markets. Base metals, which is copper, aluminium, mainly. Again, you get caught on the wrong side of it. You know about it very, very quickly, and they are quite expensive to trade. Then you come down to soft commodities. These are quite gentle and they're very good if you're a swing trader because it, it's kind of plotting across a summer, if you like. Um, my favorite out of them is coffee and also orange juice, which is here. Um, the moves are quite big. So when you look at this and you see a spread of 60, don't be overly put off because it'll flip 60 in a heartbeat. Okay. Um, it's a good market. Um, but again, if you get caught on the wrong side of it, you know about it. Okay. And that's about it. Um, as a platform, I do like it. I find it um, quite easy to trade with. Um, I do split my money up between this and Black Bull. It's the age old thing. I don't keep all my eggs in one basket. Uh, fully reg regulated, both of them. So I know the money's safe, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. But also it means that if I'm trading one sort of asset class here, I won't trade the same one in Black Bull. So again, I'm diversifying my portfolio. And likewise, if I'm opening up multiple accounts, I'll trade one asset class in one account, another asset class in another, just so that I can spread out the risk, if you like. Uh, what else have we got down here? Um, you can trade bonds and rates. I don't really bother it. Um, but ETFs, I do. And you, you'll often find the gold markets work quite well here. Um, sort of the 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 dexion miners is is quite good um but again they shift and if you get it wrong you know about it okay but it's just something to to have a look at but mainly you'll spend your time here here and in amongst this lot uh and of the indices i only look at a couple of them as well uh, i trade the dax and the FTSE every day I use the, the S&P 500 as a gauge of the world market or the world feeling and look at the tech market as well, uh, the US 100, and that will give you an idea of um, sort of world feeling also because tech giants run the planet. And that's it. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you're stuck, just give us a shout. I, I'm never very far away. And I'll do what I can for you. Catch you soon.